Yo, what's going on guys? Mush back at it with another video. Want to take you guys through some of the new Steam game releases. Obviously, we've got a ton of free titles, like always, that have been released on Steam. So we'll go over those on top of that. We do have some games that you gotta pay your darn money for, but, uh, you know, if you don't wanna buy them now at full price or near full price, given that a lot of these titles do have introductory offers and whatnot, uh, you can add them to the wish list and then you can pick them up down the line, which I think is always a pretty smart idea. So we'll get to those in a little bit, but first of all, let's start off with the free titles. We have Slapshot Rebound. Slapshot Rebound is a physics-based multiplayer game where you play an arcade-style match of hockey. No shoot button, no puck glue. No RNG, it's up to you and your team to take control of the puck, pass, shoot, and outplay your opponents. Play with your friends or team up with other Slapshot players around the world. 1.0 just dropped and it's a free-to-play title and always will be. Cosmetic elements are obviously available for purchase and obtainable through gameplay and events. We don't do pay-to-win because pay-to-win sucks. I actually like the level of transparency that they have outlined right out the gate. Like That's like one of the very first paragraphs that they have listed. Usually... Most free titles don't outline their monetization pra uh, practices right out the gate in terms of describing the game, so uh, good on them for doing that with Slapshot Rebound. Uh, train like pros become the best player in Slapshot Rebound with training modes that cover every aspect of the game. Track how your skills grow over time by beating your high score in each mode. Climb to the top, stake your claim at the best uh, shot, uh, Slapshot Rebound player as you climb the leaderboard rankings, make new friends, and maybe some rivals as well. Customize yourself, style your Slap Avatar with cl uh, countless cosmetic items from hats and hair to gloves and glasses show teammates and the opposition your unique slap shot style and hang out at the pond get away from the pressure of a match and roam around on the pond with others online making passing plays and using the training areas as well slap shot rebound is available right now and it is available for free. Next up, we have Bendy Secrets of the Machine, a free-to-play title. Some things are better left for Yon. Discover the interactable secrets of the machine by exploring Jen's creation and solving the puzzles within. Lurking amongst the shadows are glimpses of the past, uh, the present, and the future of the dark puddles. But stay alert, this realm changes often. Features note, explore the drawing room, solve the secrets within, unravel the interactive mystery, and stay close for updates. Very positive reception on this one. 655 reviews, 84% positive, available totally free. And you can check that out right now. Next up, we have a Tinkerlands, a shipwrecked adventure. Now, this is more of a prologue for Tinkerlands that will be coming out sometime in the future. A shipwrecked adventure is a free prologue, immersing you into the vast world of Tinkerlands. Uncover the story of the first survivors on these mystical islands. Explore the breathtaking archipelago, craft essential tools, and build your settlement and strive to survive. Very much a throwback visual style. Very positive reception. 319 reviews. 90% of those reviews are positive, and that is available now. Next up, we have Wow Wow Corona Box. Uh, my uh, my apologies if I butchered the pronunciation. I am not a big Hololive person, but these Hololive titles have been coming out as a free fan-made titles. A Hololive fan game featuring Inugami Corona of Hololive Gamers. Collect as many Corona boxes as possible while contending with an endless onslaught of enemies and bosses using whatever weapons you happen to pick up. This is an over-the-top bullet hell shooter, so if you're into Bullet Hell, uh, Mayhem style games, want to check out. Very positive reception on this one. 172 reviews, 96% of those reviews are positive. So I believe uh, just two of those reviews or around two of those reviews would have been negative and 170 positive. So how about that? That is available free right now. And another prologue title uh, to round out the free offerings, Sea of Radiation, a prologue. You will play an ordinary fish that accumulates radiation and mutates as in a sea area flooded with nuclear uh, nuclear pollution attacking and devouring is the only way for you to grow, defeat other monsters, and eventually become the sole overlord of this ocean. Okay, if that isn't a pretty interesting and compelling idea for a game, I don't know what will be. Again, this is a prologue for Sea of Radiation which is scheduled for a release in May of 2024. But it does look like uh, there is some pushback on some of the AI generation elements attached to the game. But we'll see how it ultimately turns out. Sea of Radiation is out May of 24. But the prologue is available now. So those are all of the freebies. Now, let's look at some games that, yes, you do have to, in fact, spend uh, real currency on. First of all, Anomaly Collapse. Had to mention this game given 
It's got a charming style. Command a squad of adorably fierce warriors in Anomaly Collapse, a turn-based roguelike strategy game that offers a fresh twist to an old formula, face off against otherworldly beings, and uncover the dark secrets of supernatural calamities. Immerse yourself in a story where every move counts. 179 reviews, 84% are positive, 10% off as an introductory offer for $17.99. It thrusts you into an innovative, one-dimensional battlefield grid where movements are minimized, but strategy is maximized. Plan your moves and outmaneuver your foes by mastering the art of flanking, backstabbing, and cornering them into thrilling face-offs. Hundreds of powerful abnormalities, a furry battalion of savvy warriors, and expect the unexpected throughout. Battlefield is ever-shifting. Just thought the style of the game looked pretty cool. Honestly, from a gameplay standpoint, this doesn't seem to be a title that would be up my alley, but I did wishlist it, so uh, maybe sometime down the line. 18 bucks, a little bit too much, but uh, sometime down the line, maybe as a part of a Humble Bundle. I, this game screams like a tertiary game into a Humble Choice at some point, so, you know, add it to your wishlist for now if you want. Next up, Planet Crafter, available in version 1.0. A free demo is available an introductory offer, 30% off for $16.79, a space survival open world terraforming crafting game designed for 1 to 10 players after the ecosystem of, of an inhospitable planet to render it habitable for humanity, survive, gather resources, and build your base, then generate oxygen, warmth, and pressure to create a brand new biosphere. Overwhelmingly positive reception, 26,500 reviews, 96% positive, so a very, very solid reception all time, given that 1.0 just dropped. Obviously, reviews were coming in during early access. You guys know me, survival games, certainly not my cup of tea. I can appreciate them for what they are, but, uh, you know, I'll give you guys the heads up that the game is out, but uh, I'll step away after that. No, I do give survival games here and there a shot. I played V Rising uh, more recently, but, um, you know, and a few other titles, but, uh, you know, it's not the games that I get invested into. Like, I played Enshrouded, played Pal World, of course, and those all are survival games, but I just don't get into these games as much as some of you guys with north of 150, 200 hours, or even more than that, which is wild to me, but uh, nonetheless, Planet Crafter, 30% off, 1679, and that just dropped. Next up, Inkbound. This is a pretty interesting game from a art style standpoint. A turn-based tactical roguelike from the creators of Monster Train. Play solo or co-op, create powerful builds, and survive the Athenium. Very positive reception on this one. 2,200 reviews. 90% of those reviews are positive as 1.0 just dropped for this as well. Reinventing turn-based gameplay within the unique turn-based combat system. Players move freely, act simultaneously in multiplayer, and can rapidly use abilities go fast. When the decisions are easy, diverse builds and classes are noted as well. Four-player cooperative play and save the stories. Inkbound is available right now, and you can get it 10% off $27 on this. Next up, we have Children of the Sun on a deadly road trip into darkness. Control the path of a single bullet and unleash a fury of vengeance on the sinister cult that ruined your life in this tactical puzzle shooter. Uh, definitely a little bit darker in terms of ambiance and visual style. Very positive reception on this one. 275 reviews, 94% positive. So all that's holding it back from overwhelming is hitting that 500 review threshold and uh, 1%. So uh, very much close to that. $14.99 on this. And then lastly, we have Botany Manor. Welcome to Botany Manor, a stick. A stately home in 19th century England. You play as inhabitant Arabella Green, a retired botanist. Explore your house and gardens filled with research to figure out the ideal habitat of forgotten flora. Grow each plant to discover the mysterious qualities they hold. Pretty interesting title, all things considered. 172 reviews, 93% positive. And uh, again, a title that I think is more built on the atmosphere, visual style, things like that. But it is 10% off, $22.49 if you do want to get a little bit of a discount. That is about to wrap up. But that is going to do it for me. Again, links to all of these titles in the description box below. A bunch of free titles, paid games as well for, you know, you can pick them up right now. But more often than not, when I mention these games, they're more so for you to add them to your wish list. As I think the wish list is a uh, very underutilized feature on Steam. It's not just to keep games that hoping somebody are going to buy them for you. But just keeping a catalog of games that you want to pick up sometime down the line, especially when a Steam sale runs around, you just go to your wishlist and you see all those games that you've added over the course of, let's say, a couple of years, and uh, yeah, wishlist can grow pretty quickly. That'll do it for me. Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. As always, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out. 
Hey, what's going on guys? Mush here again. Hope you enjoyed the video. As you guys might know, YouTube's notification system is sometimes a little bit wonky, even if you're subscribed to the channel. Maybe you're not abundantly aware that I uploaded a video to remedy that situation. Make sure you hit the bell notification button. This way, whenever I upload a new video and I try to upload as consistently as possible, you will be notified directly of the upload and you can watch it as soon as it goes live. I would really appreciate it if you guys hit that button so you can stay up to date with all of the content I'm posting. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.